This should be interesting, guys, as Ouch. six of WWE's top names square off here. athleticism on the Hurricanrana. Oh, and a snap there! That'll give you whiplash. Now watch this. Oh, what incredible power! Wow, what a vertical suplex! Goodness, crushing it! Oh, nasty impact. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Caught with the elbow. Right on the jaw. He looks a bit off his game here. And you know all three of the oh, superstars he's up against won't back down at any point during this match. When you put that much meat in the ring, somebody's going to get hurt. And unfortunately for him, he's the one on the receiving end of this inevitable beatdown. What a stomp! Good grief! When a superstar is in a six-man match, one of the most important things to remember is knowing when to tag out and get the fresh member of your team in the ring. We've talked about continuity many times on this program, but it's more than that. You don't want to try to do too much when you have other members of your team out there. Boom, what impact! Corey, you spoke about when a superstar is in six-man action and how crucial it is that they have the presence of mind to realize when they need to tag out. Not everyone who competes as part of a six-man team has the ability to do that. We've seen many times over the years that a superstar's inability to do that has cost their team the match. We've also seen over the years that not all superstars play well with others. Some competitors are so dedicated to singles careers that when they are put in a six-man team, they become a bit lost. That's when a mistake could be made, and it could be very costly. Powerball. He's going for the pin. He's got some fight left in him. Yeah, this early, no chance. This might be it. Oh, my. He's starting to stumble here. Looks like he may have let his guard down there for a moment and it cost him. It's hard to tell at this point, but perhaps the unpredictable nature of this match is too much for him to overcome. Trap the arm. Into the neck breaker. Over time, there have been various types of six-man teams that have been successful. There are family trios like the Guerreros, the Grams, the Andersons, and the Von Erichs. There have been members of factions who have also produced tremendous six-man teams like the Fabulous Freebirds, the Four Horsemen, the NWO, and D-Generation X. You've got to believe this one's over! Byron, you mentioned some families and groups that created incredible... He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. Oh, 
harsh impact. Nailed it. Irish whip. Beautiful technique. Wisely bringing the action back into the ring. Big slam. The end may be near. Byron Nova's attacking the back. But he's got to capitalize now. I think that slam caught us all off guard. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. In off the tag. In off the tag. Now oh, the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. As Byron mentioned, a lot of mysterious offense comes from utilizing the ropes. You got the West Coast pop, 619, dropping the dime. But Corey, how realistic is it to expect Mysterio's opponents to stay clear of the ropes? Well, if they want to win, it's very realistic. Just stay in the center of the ring and only veer from there when on the offensive. It's that easy. Not the uh -oh. off. Thanks to Raw General Manager Kurt Angle in May of 2017, the WWE Universe saw a dream team come together when the Hardy Boys joined forces with the lunatic fringe Dean Ambrose. The exciting trio took on Sheamus, Cesaro, and The Miz. Oh, Truth be told, both Miz and Ambrose blended in with their impromptu tag team partners pretty well. Not sure how long this will last, but he's fired up right now. Oh, man. Byron, we always make a point to talk about continuity amongst team members in the six-man. Big form, but wait a minute, no, Andreas! Oh, 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 what a response! I think this is the beginning of the end, Michael. Oh, no, we know what this is. Butterfly DDT! Here's his moment, Michael. His shoulders are down. He breaks the pin. Hooked up. And Mention of Gucci oh. Order. Absolutely planted. He might have it. Seen Kara in a oh. precarious situation. I think it's safe to say that the action so far in this six-man tag team match is exactly Ouch. what we expected. Nothing to worry about here, Cole. I know it's early, but he has to do everything in his power not Man. to let this get out of hand. When taking on Rey Mysterio, Corey, it seems most opponents have the same strategy, and that is to try and overpower him. I've noticed that too, Cole, but the thing is, you can't overpower somebody if you can't catch him. And with the way Mysterio bounces around the ring, he's almost impossible to catch. He has something big planned. Suplex. He's in control. There it is. The tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. Byron Corey brings up a great point. Superstars may be able to overpower Mysterio, but they have to catch him first, which is easier said than done. Yeah, my advice to anybody taking on Mysterio would be if you get a hold of him, never let him go. Because there's a good chance you won't get him again. Oh boy, he is rolling. Watch this here. Car so deceptively strong. Maximum impact. What's he gonna do now? Uh yeah, there's no way this match isn't over after that one. Just a step quicker, it looks like. Comes in off the tag. Uh-oh. Hurricane Rana! 
Ooh, that kick could be a game changer. Definitely not where you want to be right now. Gotta find a way to get out of this, Michael. Right, that was a long way down. Not uh -oh. the all. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. He's playing with him now. No, oh, down he goes. May have him here. Oh, look oh, at the no. power. It's more down with a power bomb. This might be the opportunity he needed. And into a quick cover. It's seen caught. And the shoulder gets up in time. Hey, I guess you never know. And Ambrose is rolling now, Michael. We've seen Sin Cara earn unbelievable victories over much larger opponents. Just take a look at the faceless one's victories over the likes of Titus O'Neil Rusev and the bitter rival, the lone wolf, Baron Corbin. He's looking at it. There's no way he's giving up now. Nicely done as he gets out of the submission. Color me surprised, Michael. I did not see that one coming. Counter here. Something that is always important in a six-man match is having the ability to perform double-team moves. One of the things that successful six-man teams try and execute are double-team moves and then have the third team member perform a signature or finishing maneuver to deliver maximum impact to an opponent. Tagged in. What's the next move for Sin Cara to turn things around? And he tags his partner in. Momentum has suddenly shifted here, Michael. Teamwork is always paramount in a six-man tag match. Superstars want to be able to have a level of teamwork where two members of the trio perform a double team move, and the third member follows that up with a move so they're... Wow, I thought he was a goner. Somebody wound him up, and he's off and running. Oh, boy. No, yeah. rolls through. Yeah. Super kick. But did he go for it too early? Slam. I knew it was only a matter of time. And now one more time. <laughs> Top of the elbow. Right on the jaw. Well, he still finds himself in a tough spot. Yep. No bueno. Rather than continuing to absorb any more punishment, he might want to tap. And here's a cover. And he kicks out. Too soon. Oh boy, he is rolling. And check it out. Kalisto getting into an even higher gear here. Unreal. Bang! Taking off his feet here. And it's moves like that that make him so dangerous. There are instances when a six-man tag match will feature a team where superstars have not always seen eye to eye or are in the midst of a disagreement. When that's the case, someone on the team must step up and be the voice of reason so the trio can function as a cohesive unit. Corey, earlier you talked about what needs to happen when members of a six-man team have differences or had differences in the past. If the team can't find a way to get on the same page, they will not last very long. Someone on the team has to step up and make sure for at least that match, everyone on the team can work together. Well, that's easier said than done. Just because superstars might be favorites of the WWE. Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. Oh, and he connects. There's no reason to lose your footing on a move like that. Come on, toughen up. He's got him on his heels and shows no signs of letting up. Here he goes. Oh, no. Someone called the orthodontist. This is not where Kalisto wants to be right now. Oh, what impact. 
That should do it. It is looking real bad for Kalisto. He's got the shoulders down. Pins broken up. I can't believe it. Oh, nice. Goes down hard. Both teams working well here together. That's not always the case in a six-man tag team match. Oftentimes, you'll see personal agendas eat their way into the action. Back in from the apron. Oh, he's able to reverse it. Lightning fast. Great agility. He's in a very bad way here, guys. And I'm not sure he even knows where he is. Let's remember, though, guys, his opponent doesn't seem to be in great shape either. The Luchador has it hooked. Oh, say adios, Salida del Sol. But can he follow up here? Kalisto may have just secured him. What an amazing six-man tag match. Let's take a little look at some of the action from that match. Wow. I don't like to throw around a lot of praise, but my eyes tell me that might have been one of the great matches in recent WWE history. Here are your winners, Kalisto, Sincara, and Rey Mysterio. What a back and forth battle that was. That's a big win right there. Anytime you can pin another WWE competitor's shoulders to the mat for the three count, you should be proud. I think Boston is stunned by the outcome here, guys.